Hi, it's Chester at Blue Pecan Computer Training. And in this video, we're going to look at how to copy based on a condition being met. And we're going to look at three different ways of doing this. First way is with a filter. The second way is using the new filter function, and that's available in Excel 365. And then the third way is using a small piece of VBA code, which I shall provide for you in the description of this video. So I want to copy in my scenario all the over budget accounts over to a new sheet. And the first method we're gonna use here is probably the simplest to use, and that's with the filtering capabilities in Excel. So what I would do is I'd click somewhere in my data and use the shortcut key Control Shift L and that will bring up the drop down lists at the top of each column. If you don't want to use that shortcut key, you can go to the data tab and use this filter button. Now I want to hide all the non over budget accounts. So I go to my status column filter button. So I'm going to untick blanks, click on OK, and now I can only see my over budget accounts. What I will then do is click somewhere in the data control A, to select all, control C to copy, then I'll go to the sheet that I want to copy the records to, click into A1 where I want to paste the records, control V to paste, and on this sheet now I only have the over budget accounts, no filter is applied, there are no hidden records, which is exactly what I want. Okay, so that's the first method. I'm gonna go back to my data and I'll just clear the filter that I applied. And we'll move on to our second method. And this method is only available to you if you have Office 365. We are going to use the new filter function. So I'm going to move over to another sheet. The filter function has three arguments, array, include, and a non-mandatory argument if empty. So array is the entire data set that you want to retrieve data from. I go back to the data sheet here and I select my records, comma, and the second argument is include. Now, what I'm going to say is that I'm looking for over budget accounts within the status column. So I've got to set up a test within this argument. And my test will be does column E, well, E2 to E14, equal over budget? The third argument I'm not going to use, but basically it allows you to specify a value if no records are returned by this condition. Close the bracket there and press enter, and you can see it returns all the over budget accounts within the sheet. I need to do a little bit of formatting, but apart from that, I am there. Okay, let's look at the final method we're going to use for copying over over budget records, and that method uses a VBA macro. Now I've provided the code for this macro in the description of this video and all you need to do is copy and paste it into the Visual Basic Editor. To open up the Visual Basic Editor use the shortcut key Alt F11 and the first thing I want to do is create a module within your VBA project. To do that go up to insert module and then paste the code that I provided into this window here. Now, let me just explain how this code actually works because you will need to adapt it for your data. I'll start off here with this variable that I've set status col, and that refers to range E2 to E14 in sheet one. Now, if I look at sheet one over here in the project, that's the data sheet. So our status column is made up of those cells, E2 to E14. And then with that, range of cells what i'm doing is using a for each next loop to look at each cell within this range to see whether the cell contains the words over budget and if it does what it does is select that whole row and then copy the contents to a variable that i've named paste cell so what is paste cell well paste cell is the cell that i want to paste this record into that is defined by this if statement here. First of all, it will look at sheet five, which is where I'm pasting the records into. 
and look to see whether A2 is empty. Now you'll see on sheet five, which is what we're looking at here, that I already have column headings in the sheet. But if A2 is empty, I haven't yet copied any records into the sheet. So paste cell is cell A2. I want to paste the record into cell A2. If A2 is not empty, then I have already pasted a record into that sheet. So I need to find the next empty cell within column A. And I do that by using this piece of code here, range a one dot end Excel down. And that's like using the shortcut key control down arrow key, which takes you down to the last consecutive value within that column. And then I want to move down another cell. So I'm using the offset method to do that. And that's where I want to paste my new record. So essentially I'm pasting the new record underneath the last record to be copied to the sheet. And that is basically how the code works. So you might need to change the cell references that are being referred to here and the sheet names that are being referred to here. When you refer to a sheet name, use the sheet number rather than the name that is given to the sheet. The sheet number is fixed for the sheet, whereas an end user could change the sheet tab name without realizing that it will affect your macro. So if I run this macro and then close this down, you can see that it's pasted all those records into the sheet. I'll just delete those records. One thing that might be quite useful is to have a button that pastes the records in. So to do that, I'll go to the insert tab on my ribbon and I'll use a shape, rounded rectangle, and I'll write get over budget records. And what I can do is right click on the shape, click on assign macro. I've called the macro copy over budget records, click on OK. So now if I click on this button, it copies the over budget records into our sheet. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully you found it useful. If you have, please subscribe and I'll see you next video.